Play. There it is, old square again. There was a good leg there from Grace Crane. Level the game up on 1-1. Well, maybe we go all the way this first game. You never know. It's a possibility. Um, they are used to playing each other. And, well, it's always a clash between these two countries. Like England and Scotland. Maybe like the Netherlands and, well, Germany or Belgium. But they're yep. not here, so we have some and other next clashes. Next up, uh, Angela De Ward against Glare Neely. And we expect a lot of those two girls. Well, if you have got uh, any questions to ask us or anyone here, just give us a tweet at, at ndbdarts or hashtag six nation darts. And we try to answer them as well as possible. Thank you, Arthur Wayne Wilson, for greeting us this early morning. Yes, and if you're just tuning in, no worries. It's 1-1 in this game, the fifth and sixth place. Ladies, Republic of Ireland against Northern Ireland. And after that, we will have the same match for the men's at 10.45. And around noon, we will start with the first semi-final of the ladies. And of course, also a big welcome on behalf of our partners and sponsors, Wimmow, our venue here, the Krim on Tessel and Electrosig. And of course, also our partners who make it possible to bring the stream to you all. Darts in motion, you stream. It's a great experience for us, but also for you to make it possible to give you a high definition stream like this. Well, we've got viewers from all over the world. Arthur Wayne Wilson just tweeting us that he's viewing in Singapore. Yesterday we had some people from Pyongyang, from Australia, from Whoa. South Africa, and of course, Britain, the Netherlands, Belgium, America, Canada. And also some famous dart players were watching yesterday, like Andy Fordham, Chris Mason. John Walton, Bobby George, Scott Mitchell, and our own Mika de Boer. Good dance here from Neely. It's necessary because the ward is waiting on 72 for the Republic of Ireland to take a lead. He starts with a single 12, so there's 20 in tops now. That's 20, one dart for tops. 32. Not yet. Exactly the same thing to do for Neely here on 72. Yes, that's a single 12, so also tops. Archery 
tops for Angela de Ward, nicknamed Speedy from Donegal. Oh, she has to speed up here because she's struggling on the doubles. Claire Neely is from London Derry. No nickname yet. Well, to edge in front, double 20 needed for Claire and Northern Ireland. It's also nice to see some uh, men players coming in, watching these games. I see Rick Hosser sitting from here. And Lakeside World Champion Scott Waits is in. Double seven. No, that's a bust. After this game, we've got the match for fifth place in the men between the Republic of Ireland and Scotland. Republic of Ireland, 2-1 up. And next up, Caroline Breen and Nicole Dillon. Three more legs needed for the Republic of Ireland. Will be a close game, I think. Yeah, I think every game will be close today because they're, they're all standing in the same position. These are... The teams who are not on form, maybe, so because they're playing for the fifth and sixth place after that, the semi-finalist, well, they deserve their spot there, so yeah. At about noon, it will be the semi-final starting for the ladies. First up are England against Holland. And about a quarter to one Dutch time, the ladies of Scotland against the ladies of from Wales to decide who will be playing in the final. Half past one, the men are up for their semi-finals. First semi-final, England against Wales. And the second semi-final, the Netherlands against Northern Ireland. But first, this match between the Irish. Lady from Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Caroline Breen. She's from Galway. She won the, si the silver medal in the ladies' pairs in Europe Cup in Turkey. Nicole Dillon is nicknamed the Bell of Belfast City. She's only 23 years of age. She was also playing in the youth. And now she's amongst the ladies. She's from Anna Long. On stage you also see the two markers in the grey shirts. Uh, they are volunteers, the Dutch darts. They will be standing there all day today, like yesterday and Friday, marking all legs. And it's Marco Meyer on stage who's doing the calling and later on. We have the pleasure to see Richard Ashdown on the stage as well, amongst Jacques Nieuwlaat, who is the master of ceremonies. So well-known faces here on this stage.
we have amongst the men 13 Lakeside players all throwing their darts. No outshot here left. That's ah, a good last dart. She leaves ball. It's going to bring them 1 3 4, but it's not out shot anymore. That's a 10, so tops. Oh, oh it's a single 5. And that's for a 3 1 lead here. 82 left now. She went for the treble 14. Good choice. Did it hit it? Double five here for Dylan. No oh, she busts. Another chance for Nicole to make it all level again. Double ten. Fifteen. Aren't you required forty? No score. Well, the line to require five. Close, but not in. Another chance for Nicole. Well, this gives us a good moment to try something. Maybe if I say this, we can get two more cups of coffee on this table. And that's the leg to Republic of Ireland, who takes a 3-1 lead. And both ladies a bit struggling on the doubles there. And there we are sitting without our coffee. So we will still be waiting on our <laughs> coffee. <laughs> well, it's an early morning this day. Two more legs needed by the Republic of Ireland. Northern Ireland has to win this leg. Otherwise, it will be an uphill battle. So we just saw Nicole Dillon, only 23 years of age. And now we see Grace Crane, 50, from Antrim. She's the Northern Ireland master in 2012. And good morning to Chris Oyston from Nottingham in the UK, people all over the world watching our live stream. And of course, also available on our website, www.ndbdarts.nl. Just click on the Six Nations Cup banner and the live stream will be there. You can also visit bdodarts.com or dartswdf.com, the website from the World Darts Federation. Winmau TV. Winmau TV also has a special channel for this great event. Six and several countries picking up our feed of the live stream. It is shown in Australia, it's shown in South Africa, 26. it's shown in Asia. And now we've got the possibility to broadcast some more ladies darts. 
most of the time the ladies aren't shown on television but we think it's very important to show all games yes and that also can count for the youth of course if it is possible to live stream more events we will also have a look at the youth give every type of top darts player the stage they deserve. It's time here for Northern Ireland to step up because otherwise it, the, it will be finished and they will finish last this Wimbo Six Nations Cup here on the Crim on Tessel. Great free dart from Grace. And like Niels has told us, the girls from Northern Ireland need this leg. Very, very focused player, this Grace Crane. Slow. For every dart, she has a new plan. She's focusing, stretching. Unlucky, she needed a single ball. A little bit afraid to bust herself. So it was outside the board. This is for the match. Oh, unlucky. This was not for the match, I'm sorry. It's best of nine. It's best of nine, so first of five. A three needed. Double four. To bring the score to three, two. Needs the double with their last darn. Just outside. Well, can Angela put in a good score? Bullseye, almost. Also close, good darts there. Double two here for Crane in Northern Ireland. Yeah, that's game shot. And that means it's three, two, five legs are played now. Still all to play for, for the ladies from Northern Ireland. And we've got our coffee. We have our coffee. Thank you, Jurgen, for the coffee. It's a long day. Will be a long day, but it will be a nice day as well. So I think the presentations will be made about six o'clock this afternoon. And in between all great matches, ladies matches, men's matches, and of course the finals. 
But first, this match between the Irish ladies. After this, the men's fifth place clash between the Republic of Ireland and Scotland. 12 o'clock, the semi-finals of the ladies start. England against the Netherlands. After that, Scotland against Wales. And approximately half past one, the semis of the men. First up, England against Wales. And after that, the Netherlands against Northern Ireland. And that includes players like Jan Dekker, players like Wesley Harms, Benito van der Pas, Eileen de Graaf will be in action today, as well Sharon Prince. If they are selected, by the way, because every team has one reserve, and it's not known yet which player that will be. Ross the Bas Montgomery also on stage today. Same goes up for Gary Stone, a current Europe Cup champion. Of course, from Wales, Martin Phillips and Wayne Warren. Old veterans in this game. We see Julie Gore back, the Win My World Master 2010 and 2012. And from Ireland, Jason Cullen who made his debut on the Lakeside stage this year. And of course, Team England. I think we can say that they're all superstars. Atkins, Glenn Durant, Tony O'Shea, of course, oh. Silverback is here, the team captain, Gary Thompson, and the current Lakeside world champion, Scott Waite. And what about the ladies? Dita Hepman, Trina Gulliver, Lorraine Farnham, and Lisa Ashton. Well, we are drinking our coffee, but Arthur in Singapore, different time zone. He's drinking his beer, he tweets us. Well, have a nice one, Arthur. Enjoying the Dutch. Skeffington drops down to the 19s here. Doesn't really work for her, that choice. So it's nearly again at Tiaki. Desperate to leave a finish here. Needs a 19. No, she stays on a 20. way in front Claire Neely is but she struggled on the doubles earlier yeah she did exactly the same in her last leg she's scoring okay but the last darts which are needed to get on a double and to throw that double Veronica needs a big score now. 66. Struggling a bit. It's good trouble though. Leaves her 170. The highest finish possible. It's nearly on 42. So that's the treble six. So that means 24 left. Double 12. She started on the ball there. That's the other way around. Uh, this is Skevington. 
Was That's confidence for you. Yeah. <laughs> Loose dart there. Yes, and to be really honest, of course, this match isn't that important as the semi is. It's for the fifth and sixth place. It's like an extra. It's quite hard to play the hard set. But that's the nice thing of this tournament, this format. All players will play two days. The ladies on Friday and on finals day. The men on Saturday and finals day. So you play at least three matches no as long as you're Archery no substitute. Sixty six left here. Sixteen. Well, the march requires twenty four. <coughs> Come on, Northern Ireland, double twelve. It's a good marker. Yes, that's game shot and it's 4-2 for the Republic of Ireland. Strange, strange, strange leg there, but hey, it's in. And it's the second time it happens to Claire. Good scores, but no finishing, no doubles. And like, it's always like Bobby George says. 180s for show? Yeah, but doubles for dough. He says a lot, Bobby. Too much sometimes. It's a little bit too early for him. Oh, he's the, he still be sleeping. He was tweeting us yesterday evening, all evening long. So old Mr. Glitter is not awake yet, I think. To we also we already told you the scores from Friday evening. Well, yesterday we played all men's group matches. We started yesterday with Northern Ireland against England. And it was England in the start a bit struggling, but then they were speeding up and they won their game 18 to seven. Then the Netherlands came on stage. They played against Wales, the Dutch men. Really throwing superb, superb darts and winning 21 to four. And Wales was the finalist of last year. So that was really a fantastic result for the Netherlands. Then England beat Republic of Ireland, 69. Then we saw the clash between Wales and Scotland. It's a really, really great game and went until the deciding last leg and was won by Wales. So that was 13-12 for Wales. Republic of Ireland then also against Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland won that clash, 13-12. Also a close game and the last game of yesterday in Group 2 was the Netherlands against Scotland. And the Netherlands were a bit slow starting, but then they won the game 14 to 11. Well, they made a great comeback yesterday. It was a good game, yeah. They were 9-3 down and won 14-11. Well, Claire has to step up her game because if she loses, it's the last leg of this match. And the Republic of Ireland will take fifth place.
if you've got any comments, any question for us, well, just give us a tweet at, N at NDB Darts or hashtag Six Nations Darts. Uh, we try to answer your questions. Yes, and don't be ashamed to retweet our tweets because we are searching for more followers. We want everybody to know what we're doing here, streaming this event today. Good darts again from Neely. And let's see if she can finish the game now. Well, it's very important for us, like Neil says, that a lot of people are watching this stream because if we want to do it more often, we need some sponsors for that. And it makes a difference how many people are watching the stream. So if you can motivate people to watch, do so. Yes, and if there are others who think they can be a partner of this stream, a partner of the Dutch Darts Association, just contact us. We're always looking to expand the possibilities here. Well, and Ark Nowak from Poland joined us again, having breakfast, watching the darts. Well, good morning to you, Ark. Neely on 71. W would be nice for the confidence of Northern Ireland if this 71 goes out in three darts. And it's possible, it's not possible anymore. 54. She needs this double to stay in the match. Yeah, get it, quick, get it, get it. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, Claire won her first leg. A very important one. And she's happy. Marco Myers having a drink as well. Talking to his fellow colleagues there. On the right corner you see their tournament leaders working on their laptops. Well, can you tell us something about how many people are making this possible? Yes, I think, uh, well, in total we are here with a group of 150, 120 persons, including the teams. The whole organization is about 15 persons here, markers, tournament leaders, uh, people who bring back the scores to the other press room. Uh, all volunteers. The volunteers, the all volunteers. We're very happy that they want to help us uh, yeah, making this tournament possible. And a big thank you to them all because they make events like this possible. And on the screen in your middle, you see four people in grey shirts. Yes, it's uh, Peter Hendricks sitting over there and Ayan de Waal, Jeffrey van Vanenveld, Jurgen Brouwer. And on stage you see Jurgen Lokke and Marijke Zomer there on the right. Marijke Zomer is in our technical tournament committee. Works on almost all of our tournaments. And greetings to William English, watching from Annick, Northumberland oh. in England. <laughs> Have a nice day watching the darts. Good dodge there. One on one. 
Both are stepping up their game. For both is important. Northern Ireland wants to level it all out. Go in a deciding leg. And the Republic of Ireland wants to finish it here. And become fifth in this year's Six Nations Cup. And by the way, you can also find a live score center on the website of Darts for Windows. That's the system we use over here. The system you see in the little screen. The bottom right with all the statistics and the scoring. So that's the website of Darts for Windows. 26. Good archer from the ward. Leaves a good finish on 58. And that is indeed for the match. Seventy-three left here for Dylan. So I advise her to aim for the nineteens. They can't hear you, Niels. Solid. Fifty-eight here for the match. So a single seventeen and tops. That's a treble 17, so double three. Not a big favorite for most players. No. Nope. The, the reason for that is quite simple. If you hit a single three, you need one and Madhouse double one. It's not the most simple option. And another treble. Double eight. Dylan needs it. 46. Well, for the match, double three, or will she go for two, double two? Okay. There it is. Well, that was a very professional finish, and it's Republic of Ireland who's fifth.